folks. Today we're here in Bryson City, North Carolina. It's a great little town nestled here in the Great Smoky Mountains. Dawn, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. We're gonna have lunch at one of our favorite places in Bryson City, High Test Deli and Sweet Shop. sitting right by the window. Huh, pretty cool. I don't think we've ever sat here before. <laughs> Little window seat right here on Main Street, all right? Yeah. I love their tables and their decor throughout. Uh, pretty cool, pretty cool little place. Uh, we got some Diet Pepsis to drink. Oh boy. So we're here in Bryson City and we're having lunch at our favorite place to have lunch. In fact, I don't think we've ever tried any other place in the area because we love this place so much. One of these days, I know I probably said it in the last video, one of these days I gotta try something different, but we just love it here so much. Uh, and Bryson City is a cute, cute little town. And uh, it's a little little tourist town. They got a couple gift shops and a really cool 50s um, diner next door. You get hot dogs, I think hamburgers. I think we might go over there and get dessert though. I always wanted to go in there. And I think they're open, so. So our sandwiches are here. You got the Italian, and I got the Cuban. And um, they come wrapped up in paper. Look at that. Oh my gosh. It smells amazing. It's piping hot, it's actually burning my fingers. And there's the fries there. Ooh, look at that. Yes, the fries are are amazing as well. Now we shared an order. Mmm. Those fries are good. Ooh, look at that. So that's your Italian. Oh my gosh, look at that. Wow, go ahead and get a bite of that. Yeah. Definitely, right? Yeah, the fries are really good as well. But take a look right at that. And it's, um, they press it in like a garlic butter. It's really, really good. Look at that. Look at, look at the outside of that thing. It's deli style for sure. <laughs> yeah. Don got the Italian. I got the Cuban. We're going to share some fries. We have two sodas. It came up to 37.84. So what did you think? It was some good food. Oh, it's always good. Yeah. Yeah, and they have limited hours here. They close at 4, and I think they're closed on Mondays. So uh, definitely keep that in mind, because we've come over here before at like 3.45, and they were already shutting down. And most of the businesses here in Bryson City keep limited hours. There's, uh, we were just over here a couple weeks ago, and everything was closed at 3 o'clock. So, and Bryson City is a cute the little town nestled here in the Great Smoky Mountains. And Bryson City is busy today. Of course, there's a lot of leaf lookers in the area and the leaves are amazing in color. We just got back from the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. And this is a great little town to stop, grab lunch. Uh, there's some really great hiking trails. And there's an entrance to the National Park just outside of here. Great hike there as well with three waterfalls. And over there is the Smoky Mountain Railroad. And I absolutely love it. We've taken a few rides on the train. 
they've been doing a little bit of work downtown here, putting in new curbs. And they have a Smoky Mountain Harley Davidson outpost. They also have a nice little train museum over there. And if you take a ride on the Great Smoky Mountain Railway, uh, you get free admission to the um, the train, the model train museum. And it's about two blocks long. That's pretty much Bryson City right there. And great little eateries across the way there. And they're all decorated for fall. Well, the Boxcar Cafe and Cones. That's a really cool little place. The Boxcar. The Beef Jerky Experience. We're gonna head into the Loose Moose. I think we've been in here once before. They have some pretty cool, cool things. And all kinds of great teas. Appalachian Trail. They have a lot of t-shirts here. Things I have never seen before, different designs. Of course, they have Bryson City ones, Bigfoot. I hate people. <laughs> What's that? The one night stand. The one night stand? Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> I like that carving of those bears. It's not for sale. Oh, it is. $471. Hmm. All kinds of decor. Oh, I like the, that little coppola. You see that? That's really cool. What do they want for something like that? $618. Yeah, they do have some pretty unique things in here. You know that? They got some unique things. And Bigfoot. Miss Bigfoot at that. Hey, Dawn, this is you. Excuse me, your bird feeder is empty. And, and my kind of people, right? And then look at this. He says, toasted. What is he, <laughs> Um, I think he has a marshmallow. Oh. <laughs> he's toasted. You get it? Yeah. He's, he's toasted. The loose moose had a lot of cool things in there. It did. Yeah, so there's another gift shop here called the Appalachian Mercantile Books and Maps. The mountains are calling and I must, must go. L Crossing. Kind of reminds me of Cherokee in this particular store. In fact, I have a feeling the store probably once was in Cherokee. They got some interesting things though. They do. <laughs> oh, Bigfoot never gets old but um yeah plenty of plenty of shopping yeah i kind of like this little um water jug here shows all the different spots in the great smoky mountains bryson city cherokee and you know, we got gatlinburg big big creek over there they have honey bears cupcakes fresh coffee Hot and ice cold drinks, uh, honey sweet tea. You wouldn't believe the smell that I am smelling at the moment. Oh my goodness, look at this chocolate, nutcracker, popcorn, peanut brittle, cheddar popcorn, chocolate shop. Spectacular gummy mix. They even have the train and chocolate. <laughs> Ooh, it smells really good in here. Here's a little um, festive yeah, cooked Oreos that are for um, yeah for Thanksgiving. 
<laughs> Rice Krispie treats. It is. Oh boy. All kinds of flavors. Yeah. Those look good too. Oh, I got cupcakes, chocolates. Hello, fall. Everett Street Diner was closed today, but we need to try this place. When they're open, they're usually uh, really, really busy. In fact, they do have a menu out here. Let's see what they have on their menu. So they have a dinner club, Reuben. And for years I've been wanting to try this place. And every time we come over, it's always closed. But today, it's open. At least, at least the ice cream part is open. Let's go ahead and check out this old soda. Usually we look in and never get to go in. So this is different. got a chocolate malt and you just got a chocolate shake right mm -hmm. a chocolate shake. look at that with the cherry and everything mm -hmm. <laughs> and I've been wanting to come in here for years and it's always closed but today was our lucky day A lot of shopping, little eateries, Smith's Dry Goods. It's been there for a long time. And this building here is new. So they're building some new things in downtown here. Yeah, old pumpkin farmer. <laughs> Great big old trout behind him. Look at that well. There's a dragon. Oh yeah, there's a, a dragon. Urgh. Yeah, it's a great little town to walk through. You can spend a few hours here, especially if you grab lunch, do some shopping. Little tap house here. Yeah, a little movie theater, and they have their fire department right downtown. We're going to stop off here at Darnell Farms. Darnell Farms. Oh my goodness, look at this. They got it all carved out of pumpkins. That is really, really cool. And there's nothing quite like a pumpkin patch. And they have all kinds of pumpkins over there. We're going to take a look at those. But uh, yeah. <laughs> You know, Dawn, a witch touched that pumpkin because it's got warts. All these pumpkins have got warts. <laughs> Look at that. I even got some white pumpkins over there. Yeah, white pumpkins. It's fall on the farm. 
Nothing like a little fire. Oh uh, yeah, right here at the pumpkin patch. Nothing like apples in these mountains. And they do have some honey crisp. Ooh, it smells good. I can smell that the sweetness of the apples. Yeah, so they're not doing the hay ride today. And they had a lot of really unique pumpkins, but they, they just didn't have any like regular pumpkins. Uh, but it's always a great stop. Uh, they had apples. The apples look good. And there's a little play area out back here for the kids to play on some bales of hay. But uh, yes, the mountains are looking very beautiful. Yeah, a little, little bit of campfire smell in the air. There's some really good hiking just outside of town. You can explore uh, this side of the Great Smoky Mountains. A lot of great little eateries. You can come out and have lunch. They had the Smoky Mountain um, Railroad that goes through here. That's fun too. That's fun. Nice day for a walk in Bryson City. It was a nice day. But folks, that's going to do it for today. Here in Bryson City, North Carolina, if you guys like this, yeah. if you guys like this vlog, give it a thumbs up. We love you, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone.